Well, here we are then with the club's new first team manager, and it's Neil Harris. Neil, welcome back. You've been here as a, as a player. Now we're here as uh, as the gaffer. A very hectic twenty four hours, to put it delicately. Yes, you could say that. Phil, it's been a lot easier as a player, but <laughs> that way when I was here, uh, and a great time I did have as a player as well. But the um, as a manager, it's, it's been madness. Obviously, today coming on transfer deadline day is never it's never easy anyway. But coming to a new club and meeting everybody and taking your first training session with a thought process to tomorrow's fixture as well. Um, but it's been enjoyable. Obviously, it's been behind the scenes for a little bit now. I uh, spoke to Paul uh, a couple of times about coming in, and you know, finally managed to get. Um, um, an agreement in place and um, just can't wait to get started properly and, and, and coming in today and meeting the lads and seeing them train today you know couldn't go long on the grass um, because of the game Monday and tomorrow's game but what I saw was was fantastic and yes I know there's some need to pick the players up on the back of um, on the back of Saturday's result but hopefully me being in the building is a real positive for them as well. I'll, I'll touch very briefly on Saturday's game in, in a second. The chairman did say to me earlier that it's been an ongoing process to try and get you in. You've spoken a few times, you go back a, a long time. You must be relieved finally that an agreement is in place so you can get started. Yeah, there's another thing, Paul. Just, you know, he runs a football club, it's a very difficult job, um, and he's been brilliant over the years here um, at, at running a stable football club. Um, and like I said, I enjoyed my time here as a player, so coming back as a manager is a privilege and an honour. And extremely proud to be here. Um, and now I'm coming at a very difficult stage for the football club. Um, but you know we can only go one way now, and that's and that's a positive way. Um, Paul's tried extremely hard um, to piece everything together to, for me to be sitting here today. And you know I'm delighted to get it done. I know he's extremely pleased as well. Um, and you know it's now about building for the future, not just about a football match tomorrow night and trying to win a game. Yes. You know, we, we need results quickly, but it's about the long term as well. And that's really what sold it to me was Paul's longer vision of thinking about um, the summer and then moving forward, hopefully in League One next year, but looking at a longer plan over the next couple of years of trying to build a squad that resembles Gillingham Football Club. Now, coming into a new club is always mad, but you've arrived on transfer deadline day, which I um, <laughs> appreciate is, is a little bit different. Um, are you expecting any movement between the time this interview is filmed and the time the clock strikes 11pm. Yes, yeah, <laughs> I am. Um, I'm pretty sure one, one lad will go out um, and certainly one will come in. The, the deadline day is tough anyway. Um, there's been a lot of press and a lot of speculation regarding some of our players. Um, and I've read that over the past weeks, if not longer. Um, so it can be draining on everybody. And all I can t try and do is facilitate players that want to be here and the ones that don't want to be here and the players that want to be here and on the 1st of February they'll be committed to the club committed to me and, and we strive to get better results than they have been um, trying to bring players in as we know is never easy trying to get the right personnel in when you're trying to review a squad that you've not worked with on a daily basis is extremely difficult um, but I have to make the decisions that I feel I feel correct in support with the chairman um, so I, I do expect uh, movement um, probably in and out you took training for the first time today. Legitimately, what what was the mood like down there? Saturday wasn't. It was a low point, wasn't it? Did, were they more positive than you thought they would be? Um, I think they're always positive when a new man comes in, and I'm sure when Loves came in, it's a positive and a reaction, and that that's just human nature. We we know that. Um, I expected a reaction from the players today. Uh, we had a meeting, we had a fantastic meeting, just had 15, 20 minutes addressing the players and my expectations from them. And again, it's not based around winning games of football, it's just how they conduct themselves, how they represent the football club, what I expect on a daily basis, and, and also what I expect from a Neil Harris football team. And uh, they were great, they responded, trained really well. And between the deadline shutting today and tomorrow at 7.45, we've got to piece together a side and um, a shape and a discipline to the team that try and culminates in three points. What should we expect from a Neil Harris football team? Hard work costs nothing. The teams that I played for here and against a Gillingham Football Club were always tough to beat, were always physical, aggressive, represented the fan base in a working man area. Um, and I'm not saying that team can't, this, these group of players can't be that, but 
it's obviously not been at the level that's, that's needed um, to gain results so far. So I need to try and install that quickly, um, but then install that over a period of time. Um, I've told the players it's not about reinventing football or a style of play in a week or two weeks here. It's about progressively trying to improve everybody on the pitch and off the pitch. And want to play front foot aggressive football. Um, and that's with and without the football. And we want to make it extremely difficult for teams. Um, but it's a good league. We know some fantastic football clubs in here with, with ridiculous budgets. Um, but we have to compete with them. And between now and the end of the season, we have to compete well enough to get the results. What's your message to the supporters at this point? Because you'd probably forgive them for being a little bit downhearted, a touch dejected maybe, considering where we are in the league table. But what is your message as you take charge for the first time on Tuesday? I, I can't ask to ignore what's gone on before. You know, we, we can't ignore that. And I can say to the players, that wasn't under my stewardship. You know, it wasn't here. I'm not focusing on that. But it's there. The league table doesn't lie. Um, results don't. Saturday doesn't lie. You know, we, we, we can't we can't ignore that. What I can say is, I wasn't in charge for that. I expect standards and I expect um, organisation and structure and an attitude from the players. I can control that now. I can't control what's gone. Um, the fans have not seen their team win very often and it's a proud fan base. Um, I enjoy playing here and when it gets going, it's a brilliant atmosphere and, and, and that's what I want to see. And I don't expect tomorrow night them just to turn up and get behind the team just because I'm in charge. Um, but what I will say is we all need each other at the moment. Um, we need to be together. It's not overnight success. You know, we might win six games in a row. I really hope we do. Um, we might not win for a couple of games, but it's about building now it's about trying to put positivity back in the group and the fans want to come and see the players have a go they want to see their team play um, they want to be entertained and um, you know that, that's that's my aim and not just tomorrow but over the next coming two and a half years onwards that that'd be my aim so maybe across the entire football club it's it's a, it's a fresh start it is yeah I've, the, the staff have been brilliant very welcoming and staff that have been here generations still work at the football club people that, that I've seen when I walked in I couldn't believe we're still here from when, <laughs> when, when, when I played here and that, that's the sort of football club it is um, it's, a fam it's a family club um, but football fans want to see passion and they want to see success how do you me measure success well that's measured against expectation um, and, and clearly the football club's not delivered on the pitch this year um, there's good people work here you know Paul scally has been here a hell of a long time um, invested a lot of a lot of money and, and sweat and the fans invest their money to come and watch all I'd say to everybody is come and get behind the team and hopefully come and enjoy it I've come here to work to enjoy my job and I've come to try and install some joy and hope into the players and into the fan base as well There's, I've not promised the players that also we're going to win every game and, and survive in the league this year um, we've got a tough challenge in front of us but let's enjoy it Positivity and unity both on and off the pitch. I guess that's what's required, not just for the last 18 games of this season, but for this this, this project that you've come in to uh, take charge of. And I think that's that's the exciting bit. The exciting bit is I've had a year off, a lot of it by choice, um, um, to spend time with the family and, and recharge the batteries. To be honest, from 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 the job. Um, well, well, you look very fresh. Yeah, thank you very thank you very much. <laughs> um, and I just want to get going again. You know, I've got so much energy to, to give back and, and hopefully you'll see that on the sidelines <laughs> tomorrow night. And hopefully that reflects on my team <laughs> and, and the way they perform. But the, the excitement is not just the joy of being back in the game and enjoying being on the training pitch today and the, the focus and the excitement around tomorrow's fixture. It's the longer term vision. You know, it's what Paul spoke about to me at, at length over the weekend about that it can't just be about winning against Crew on Tuesday night. There has to be a plan in place, there has to be a structure um, identified within the football club to help it flourish. There has to be homegrown players coming through. We have to look at recruiting the right players. Um, and it, it, it's, it's a plan that I took on probably seven years ago in a similar light at Millwall after a relegation and, and built something. Um, Cardiff was a little bit similar. Coming to a football club by choice that I see a longer term or mid and longer term vision. And um, you know, I'm excited to be part of it. Just finally from me, I know you're very busy, but it is crew tomorrow night at home. It's not an easy fixture. Crew need the points just as much as we do. It's it's going to be uh, maybe um, you, maybe anticipating a very, a very tight game. Yeah, it's going to be uh, a tough game. 
you know, the, the system of play, they're settled, the side, yes, they would probably like to have had better results recently, but it's, it's going to be a challenge and they're going to come make it very difficult for us. We've got to make sure that we attack the game for what it is, which is a, a six point game. You know the bottom reaches of the division. Um, all I ask my players tomorrow night, we've not had long on the training ground, we've not had a chance to work with the team, uncertainty around transfer windows. All I ask my players tomorrow night is that they have a go and they have a go for each other and um, that what I install in them tomorrow during the day um, with messages they try and deliver the game plan um, and then we get a chance to work before going to Ipswich on Saturday and then after that and so on. Um, but it's a tough fixture, but in League One this season, every game's tough. But we want to be positive tomorrow night. Neil, we should be very best of luck and thanks for your time. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Cheers.